Hi guys, this is Carolina Varsity. We're in our 2015 season and we are at regional final week and we're taking a look at the 1AA Western Regional Finals where we got number 10 Walkertown uh, going to play number 4 Mitchell. I'm Dale Ross. I'm Anthony Perkins. And Anthony, get us going here. Well, the 1AA Western Finals this week is going to feature, as you said, number uh, 4 seeded Mitchell County going up against number 10 seeded Walkertown. Mitchell County is ranked number four on max preps in four in one A in the state. Walker County is ranked number fifth, so this is a four versus five as far as state rankings go. They will play, but whoever wins this game will play the winner of the Lost Rose Hill James Keenan game from down in the east. Uh, Mitchell got to, Mitchell County got to to the has gotten to the Western Finals by beating Northmore forty one to twenty in the first round. Uh, Mount Airy forty one to fourteen in the second round. East Wilkes fourteen to seven last week, which, by the way, was the number one seed. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Walkertown from the Northwestern one a, Northwest 1A uh, Conference uh, defeated Pine, Pine Lake Prep, Prep in the first round, 35-26. West Montgomery, 63-35 in the second round. And number three seeded East Surrey last week, 28-14. So both these teams have, have you know, they've, 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 right. they've not played chalk, but it, it, they've played good opponents to get here. Mm -hmm. Mitchell comes in, Mitchell County comes in uh, with uh, having scored 623 points on the year for a 44 and a half point game per game average. Walker Town 455 points for 32 and a half point per game average. Mitchell County is giving up 243 compared to Walker Town's 306, and that's about a four point differential there per game uh, for those two teams. They have a common opponent in Mount Airy. Uh, with Mitchell County played them in the playoffs. They were a regular season opponent for Walker Town. Both, both of them defeated uh, Mount Airy. Mitchell County by a 41 to 14 count. Walker Town by a 35 to 7 count. So that, that's pretty mm -hmm. even. That's almost a wash. Rushing leaders for Mitchell County are uh, Dalton Beaver. He's coming in with 62 yards per game. Marcus Adams uh, for uh, Walker Town, 150 yards per game. Quarterback, uh, quarterback for uh, Mitchell County is Ben Young. He's averaging right at 157 yards per game. Ian McKnight for Walker Town for 136 yards per game. And so that's pretty close, too. Uh, the differential there, though, is, is their top running back is almost 100 yards better right. than, than uh, uh, Mitchell County. Uh, so, but state team statistics even back out again because there's more than just one guy carrying the ball. Rushing statistically, uh, Mitchell County coming in with 200 and almost 63 yards per game. Uh, Walker Town almost 240 yards per game. Mm -hmm. Passing 156, almost 157 yards for Mitchell County, 136 for Walker Town. Uh, and for a total, uh, 419 yards for Mitchell County, uh, 375 yards for uh, Walker Town. So these teams are pretty close. It's, 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 it's shaping up like it could be a good football game, probably come down to defense. The uh, report, uh, Carolina Varsity High School football report, has uh, number four Mitchell over number ten Walker Town, thirty-six to twenty-six. So I forgot to tell you what I thought. Yeah, what do, what do you think? I, I'm going to say Walker Town's going to win this. Okay. I, I picked against them every week. I said, if folks have been okay. traveling, uh, following this, they go I wish you wouldn't pick for us. <laughs> but but. Uh, I didn't realize I, I, I had failed to go and check who they had played this year mm -hmm. and lost because their record is uh, nine and five. And you say, well, I've you know, got a lot of losses. And right. Mitchell County's only lost one time this year. Uh, but they lost against two 4A schools and a uh, uh, 1-3A school and, and uh, two 1A schools. Right. So they, they played a really tough schedule to get here. Uh, and I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that they're – I'm, I'm going to make you a six-point six favorite. A six-point favorite, okay. Cool. So, uh, you know, looking at uh, a few other things, uh, they both won kind of close ball games to get here. Uh, Walkertown had a little bit more of a um, of an ease. They had a two they had a two score game versus a uh, field goal game mm -hmm. difference to get here. Uh, Rankings in the Carolina Varsity uh, report, uh, Mitchell is 6th and um, Walkertown is 13th. And you mentioned in the uh, max preps are 4 and 5, uh, respectively. Uh, so two fairly close teams as far as through the season, how they've, uh, how they've progressed overall against opponents. And 
averaged out. They, uh, they seem to be two fairly co close uh, teams. The, uh, the report has it uh, as 10 points, which is two scores. You have it as, as one score the other way. So uh, the game is probably, uh, if you were to take those two things and average them out, you'd say the game's a toss-up. So uh, it, it's going to it, it definitely look, as I looked at things, Look to be that this could be another pretty good uh, football game. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, Walkertown's been on the road the entire playoffs, right. so uh, traveling somewhere else is not anything different. And some schools play better on the road. That's true. Uh, I, I've talked to a couple of uh, coaches uh, this year, and when they got to talking about playoffs, they were like, "Man, I I want to go on the road." Uh, <laughs> we we. We either play better on the road. The kids like the road uniforms better than the home uniforms. <laughs> Lots of different Whatever. reasons I've heard exactly. So uh, not anything new for them to, to be on the road here. Uh, hopefully you guys have a classic ball game. It looks like it should be a close ball game. 36-26. Uh, if you're going by six, what are you thinking the range of scoring is going to be? You mean what, what each team will score? Yeah, just I, approximately. I'm, I'm going to say in the 20s. In the 20s. You know, 28 to 22, 28 okay. to 24, somewhere around in there. All right. Well, there you go. So, sounds like you guys got to have a real good ball game. Let us know what you think. We don't talk about uh, these two schools uh, during the regular season. We'd like to hear what you got to think. Do you want to hear more of it? Give us feedback. Thanks.